I'm going to try and keep this short. I'm 15 and live in Croatia, so apologies if some words are wrong, or if I misspell some things. Cast, M, me and my dad, the man who bought my dog, he's a very good person who was clueless about the whole thing. Backstory, I had a small dog called Bongo, I know it's a weird name, but I was young, and I really wanted a dog named Bongo, who went missing, when I was 10, so my mom said. I was very sad when that happened, and didn't want to talk to anyone for a week. My mom tried to cheer me up, by taking me to the toy store and to buy me a Hot Wheels car, but she mostly bought herself clothes, and shoes and I only got 3 Hot Wheels cars, only because that day it was a buy 2 get 3 deal for them. And no the main story. A couple of weeks ago I was going to a car meet in Zagreb, when I spotted a dog, that looked exactly like my Bongo. Bongo has his left eye missing, because of another dog who was attacking him so that's why I knew it must be him. I told my dad I'd be back in a minute, and walked up to the man, who was walking him. Conversation as follows. Everything was translated from Croatian. Me, excuse me sir may I see your dog for a second? Man, yeah, sure he's very good with people, he's not gonna bite. Me, may I say he looks exactly like my dog. Man, oh what's his or hers name? Me, his name was Bongo. Man, umm. His name is also Bongo? Me, sir. Where did you get this dog? At this point the dog started to whine out of happiness, and started jumping around like crazy. Man, I bought him from a lady 5 years ago. My heart sank to the floor. Me, can you please describe the lady who sold you the dog? Man, short, short dyed blue hair, had a small blue purse, and she drove a white car. Me, you literally just described my mom. She said my dog went missing 5 years ago. I asked the man if he could come over to our house with Bongo to ask my mom a few questions he said yes I explained everything to my dad and he also recognized the dog. When we got home. When Bongo stepped into my house. When my mom saw him and the man. Everything started coming together. I wish you could have seen my mom's face. White as a ghost. We had a serious talk for several hours and Bongo ended up back with me. We helped the man get another dog and kept in touch. I stopped talking to my mom and I'm still not talking her. And also my mom is a serious liar, a horrible person who did many other bad things, which I won't talk about no, maybe some other time. Hope you have a nice day. This is the story of the downfall of my aunt and uncle. My aunt, dad's older sister, has always doted on her son. I'm Indian and in my country son preference is a pervasive social disease. Most people, regardless of social status, religion etc place great value in their sons and daughters are seen as a burden on the family. My aunt was no exception. Ever since she was a kid, she had had this messed up, one-sided competition with my dad. I, a woman, am my dad's only child. This gave her an opportunity to constantly make passive-aggressive remarks that my dad was so unfortunate to have a daughter, his line would end with him etc etc. She and her husband spoiled their son to the point that he became a narcissistic bully. He would often mock my star to cheat on his girlfriends and make unreasonable demands of his parents. But did they ever try to discipline him or say no to him? Of course not. Their prince could do no wrong. If he made fun of my stutter, I was a piece of trash who deserved it. If he cheated on his girlfriend, she must have neglected him. If he made sexist remarks about his female boss, well he's a man. You get the picture. Years went by, and he just kept getting worse. When he was living with them, he at least pretended to respect them. But when he landed a very high paying job and was able to move out, it was as if he forgot they even existed. He and his wife hardly ever spoke to them. By now my uncle had retired. My aunt had never worked. They had very little money left as they had spent it all on their son. They had paid for his education, his vacations, his wedding. Now they barely had enough to put food on the table. My dad would help them as much as he could. In 2011, my cousin's wife became pregnant, and during her third trimester, my cousin asked his parents to move in with him and his wife. We all knew it was because they wanted free caretakers for the baby. But my aunt just couldn't shut up about how wonderful her son was for wanting to take care of his parents. By now I was well established in my field and was looking forward to a successful career. 
She taunted my father one last time, saying my education and career would be of no use as I was just a daughter and could never take care of him the way her son would take care of her. My dad just smiled and wished her well. She and her husband moved to my cousins, who lived in another city, place. My dad would often receive calls and texts from her bragging about what a great life they had. She sounded a bit too chipper. My dad began to suspect that I wasn't right. About 6 months after they had left, my dad said he was going to visit them as he was getting worried about his sister. He asked me and my stepmom to accompany him. We reluctantly agreed. We arrive at their place and it is truly stunning. A luxurious home in a posh locality. This was no surprise as my cousin is very successful. What did shock us was the way he was treating his parents. They were practically servants in his house. My aunt tended to the baby, cooked and cleaned. My uncle tended to the gardens, took care of the cars, and went grocery shopping etc. My cousin could easily afford maids, drivers etc but why would he when his parents were now his free slaves? What was even worse was the way he treated them. My cousin-in-law would often yell at my aunt and would just order her around. My uncle had this vacant and defeated look in his eyes. I had never liked him, but couldn't help but feel a tinge of pity. My dad took my aunt aside and told her she didn't have to live like this. That he could make arrangements for her and her husband. My aunt put on a fake smile and said nonsense, we couldn't be happier. Anytime my cousin or his wife said something cruel to her or told her to shut up when she tried to make conversation, my aunt would put on a smile and act as though it was just the sweetest thing anyone had ever said to her. It would've been funny had it not been so pitiful. Memories of all the horrible things she had said and done to me and my dad were still fresh in my mind. And the shadden fruit was real. My aunt's fake, rueful smiles and the way she tried to cover up how her son was really treating her is the cringiest thing I have ever seen. My aunt and uncle often stressed the importance of having a male heir. They claimed that their son would be their provider while I, a daughter, would be a burden till the day I was married off. Surprise, surprise. The exact opposite has happened. While they were basically slaves in their son's house, I'm unmarried, have a loving partner, wonderful pets and friends and a great career. My dad has his own restaurant and seems very happy with his work. Entitled parents often assume that their kid can be an a-hole to everyone else, but he would never do that to them. Boy are they in for a shock. This happened a while ago with my aunt. Since it's the end of the year and I'm moving up to high school next year and won't be attending the same school, my mom said I could stay at home if I wanted to. I decided to just take a bit of time off and play some sparks. A friend of mine lent me Mortal Kombat 9, so I decided to just play against the CPU. EA paid us a surprise visit during the time I was playing and right at the moment she sat down, Scorpion ripped Melina's spine out. She was horrified when she saw this and gasped in horror and then turned to me. EA, entitled aunt me, well, me, M, mom. EA, why would you watch such disgusting things? Me, it's just a game. My mom walked in and asked what was happening. EA, why are you letting your daughter play things like this? It's violent and it's not suitable for a girl. M, she enjoys it and it isn't hurting anyone in real life. It's virtual. EA, either way, fighting is not for girls to watch or do themselves. M, boys should not fight either. Fighting in general is not okay. EA, boys fight all the time. It's normal. For girls it's not. It makes the look rowdy and irresponsible. Me, EA, I understand, but it's only a game. EA, yes but it's a fighting game, and that's for boys. My daughter has Barbie games on her tablet that are much better for girls. Me, EA, I'm 13, I'm not a little girl anymore. My mom cut the argument short by asking EA to please stop forcing her point across. She left not too long after. My mom and I had a good laugh. I'm not sure if she's entitled or just ignorant, so if this doesn't belong her let me know. I'm a sales manager in the beauty industry, most of my team are industry veterans that need very little managing, but seasonally well bring in part timers, typically HS or college girls wanting to try out the beauty industry, get some training, discounts and free product, and $20 an hour. 
They way are hiring works is that our employees are hired by two different companies. First the department store and then the vendor. The store and the vendor, me, split their hourly. This department store had a very generous discount program for their employees, starting at 20% and going up to 40%. This included designer products as well, so the savings are huge. The store has a policy that you can share your discount with your spouse but no one else. No parents, siblings, or friends. It's considered theft and is grounds for termination. You can't buy things and resell them for a profit either. Most people bend that rule a little bit, pick up a shaving cream for their dad or whatever, but as long as you're the one that buys it with your card you'll never get caught. Basically, don't be a greedy arrogant dumbass. We hired a senior in high school seasonally who like me is a first generation immigrant. In her interview with me, she talked about MacUp artistry being her gift and she wanted to develop it into a career to support her family and build a great life. That's exactly what MacUp did for me, so I was very touched. She told me how our brand in particular was her favorite and how much she wanted to attend our training seminars. After a couple of weeks a woman comes in and is speaking to her very aggressively in Mandarin. I'm assuming this is a customer, I don't tolerate customers abusing my team and will kick them out, so I walked up and asked what the problem was. Turns out it was her mother. She had a large pile of expensive fragrances, multiple bottles of the same fragrance from Channel. She dropped the pile and stormed out. Seasonal employee apologized for her mom's behavior and put the bottles back. A month later I'm at another store location and spot the mother again. Buying multiple bottles of Channel and Tom Ford fragrance with $25 gift cards. I observe without her knowing and see that she used her daughter's employee discount. I have no choice but to report it. It turned out that Essie's mother had been buying department store gift cards from Fredmere and getting points from them, then using that department store's phone number rewards number system to get more points, buying thousands of dollars worth of products with her daughter's discount and resilling it. It's really pretty genius and we never would have caught on. Gift cards aren't traceable data if she hadn't used her phone number for additional points with the store. When we terminated the girl she told us she had begged her mom not to do it and this wasn't just a job. We were going to fly her to California for training and certify her and she was getting to work with some of the most accomplished artists in the field. But the mom said she had sacrificed so much to raise her that this was the least her daughter could do. With enough bullying and abuse from mom the daughter gave in and let it go on. Now she won't get a job with any line because no store will hire you after you're fired for fraud. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, a like and a comment would mean a lot in YouTube's world. Share with us if you would have done things differently. And don't forget to support the original authors with an upvote. Links are in the description. Peace out, and catch you tomorrow.